As recently as two weeks ago, Purdue was just 11 and 8, not really anticipating an NCAA tournament bid. Since then, all the Boilmakers have done is win four in a row, including three against ranked teams. And now they've laid claim to the final spot in Joe Lenardi's latest bracketology field. And Joe, as we welcome you in, Purdue has a couple of tough losses in the non-conference schedule against North Florida and Gardner Webb. How have they been able, despite those losses, to be able to leap into the field? I think when you look at the Boilermakers, you reach a tipping point, John, where you say, at what point do good wins outweigh those bad losses? And I think we're at that point. When you get to 7-3 and three in a conference like the Big Ten, you become uh, a, a serious NCAA at-large candidate. You know, if they were to continue at that pace, stay at least four games above 500 in the league, maybe even get one more above, one or two more above 500, then they will be in the field because you can't get there without beating enough other NCAA contenders. And you also throw in their bubble wins over the likes of BYU, North Carolina State, and Michigan, and you're looking at a team that really and kind of quietly has snuck up on everyone. Purdue coming off that impressive victory over Ohio State. They've also put together a 7-3 and conference record that is tied right now in the Big Ten with Maryland. For more Bracketology, you want to check out Joe's full field of 68 now on ESPN.com. For Joe Lenardi, I'm John Brickley.